Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. And welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store with a message from Spirit. Now, for those of you that are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining. That's just fantastic. Fills my heart. So thank you. I do want to say that when I do my work, actually, I don't use cards. Cards is just something that was a way to bring through messages for these daily messages uh, so that everybody can pull something from the images, from the messages. It's, it's a great way to do a collective or general reading. And I like to pull cards for myself for my own uh, insights sometimes. And my guides had really <clears throat> encouraged me to share this with everybody. So that's where the card readings came from. And I, I have a lot of fun doing it, but I also what I'm focused most of my time on is mediumship and channeling. That's what's actually my, my usual go-to. And so I'm happy to always share those with you on the Wednesday wisdom, like yesterday. That's, that's usually how I do things. However, I think cards are a beautiful way for anyone to connect with spirit. They really are like a bridge to the other side, which is why we created the Awakening Avalon Oracle deck. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to share that. So let's dive in. I'm using this Wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck today, sticking with it for this week. So let's see what the messages are for today as we start to kind of edge towards the weekend. All right, let's see. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so this is really great. We are fair. Um, okay, I was gonna start with a different card of the layout here, but my guides corrected me. So first card that they wanna start with is the queen. Now the queen can represent whether you are male, female, regardless. This is you sitting in your power, you knowing your power. The queen represents uh, fertility, feminine power, divine feminine power, sexuality, friendship. This is the divine feminine essence in full power, sitting on the throne. The throne is really representative of that full power, of recognizing the strength that comes within that. Also, when compassion is needed, when tenderness is needed, when vulnerability is needed, and how all of those actually pull together to create an amazing strength. That the feminine energy within all of us, whether we are male or female, this feminine energy is an important piece to knowing our whole self. Now, when we really tap into that, we're tapping into this really deep well of compassion and intuition. That's a really strong part of the divine feminine. So Spirit is saying right now, as you're moving into these energies this weekend, tap into the energy of your queen self, the energy that helps you feel more deeply. And sometimes we don't want to feel as deeply, but in those feels, in those deep feelings, we can often get a lot of answers, insights, and again, intuition. Because what's coming up for many of you is this risk card. Now this risk card, really I like to actually call it choices. That's what it represents. You can see these arrows, these arrows here represent three different paths. And the risk is essentially you choosing. You're, you're standing there in front of an opportunity and you're being given the chance to choose which way you wanna go. So I really wanna stress that this card to me is not a scary card in which risk often has kind of a scary fear energy to it, like what are you risking? Or we could say, what are you choosing? what feels right. So if we go into our divine feminine energy and feel into the options that we're being given right now, because remember the universe is bringing forward opportunities, options, alignments right now, movement. There's a lot of movement forward. So when we're confronted with those options, pull from your divine feminine energy, tune into the feels, tune into if any of these make you feel vulnerable, why is that? If they make you feel emotional, why is that? Do they make you feel excited? What is the energy connected to that? What is the emotion connected to that? What does your body tell you with each and every one of these? And then go from there. Because within any choice, whether your guides are sharing what they think you should do or not, which usually they'll just provide 
understandings or ideas. They won't usually tell you what to do. But it's important that you first and foremost feel what you feel you want to do. Then you can check into advice from other people, from your guides about what they have to say. Then you come back again to feel into what you think now that you know all the things before you choose moving forward. Okay. So now with these choices here, what's really beautiful is we have the horse card and we have the dog card. I love these because this horse, first of all, represents accepting help from another, uh, delegating authority. This card to me really indicates your guides are near and close to you and here to help. They're here to help like the horse. The horse will help carry you to where you need to go. Right, so there's help coming in from the higher realms as you move forward with these choices, these life paths. And the help is coming from this dog card really represents our spirit guides as well, meaning that they are the ones that are loyal to us. The dog says <clears throat> loyalty, sincerity, and unconditional love. This is what the energy is bringing forward from the higher realms. Your guides are coming forward in these energies to help you decide which way you want to go. Because there's some beautiful alignments coming into play right now. This is an exciting time. This is a time where you really get to see that movement and it being put into place. And Spirit has been saying that we will be seeing that more and more. So essentially, know that you're supported. But out of everything, trust in your divine intuitive knowledge that moves not only through your consciousness, but through your body. Your body will tell you if something feels right or not. Feel into all of those things, pull from the insights from your guides, and know that in the end, you will make the best decision for you at this time. So I'll leave that with you all. What a beautiful message of empowerment today. Wow. And uh, yeah, I hope that helps you move forward on your day today. Uh, check back tomorrow because we'll see what the energies are going to be as we move into the weekend. And yeah, I just want to thank you again so much as always. Please share, subscribe. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good day.